So as you guys probably know, Apple released iOS 12 Beta 1 today and along with it, the brand new Measure app, allowing you to use your phone as a virtual ruler. But in the first version of Beta 1, how accurate is it? Let's test that. First, let's just start with the ruler, pretty simple. Starting at the zero mark, we can come all the way to the 12 mark and it reads as 11 and a half, not too bad. A tiny bit off, but I mean, for the first beta, that's not bad at all. We are just half an inch under, as you can see. Now, hopefully none of you are going to be out there measuring rulers with this new app, so let's test a slightly more realistic scenario of a real-world object, such as a pen. So we can start there, drag it to there, and stop. And we give it, it is five and a half inches. Now... We simply take a ruler, sorry this is messy, kind of snap off, I'm messing with the exposure. We can see that it is five and a half inches. Perfect. Finally, just to make sure we're being thorough, let's test something at a longer range. So we're actually going to measure this wall. Okay, there. Let's just go to the door. So it is saying that we are at, wow, perfect focus guys. 26 feet and seven inches. 26 feet. Finally, just to be thorough, let's test something a bit more long range. So let's just measure this whole wall. So it's saying that we are at six foot seven. It was saying six foot eight before. It turns out that this wall is actually 84 inches. And from my measurements, it showed 79 to 80 inches. So that's not a huge difference. However, that is quite a bit if you need absolute precision. So I'd say in the early stages, it is still not ready for the real world yet, but it is definitely a pretty solid start. Now part of that is of course because I'm measuring a wall and my body is not moving, simply moving the phone, you're gonna be you're gonna have an angle problem. So you're actually gonna be changing the angle to the wall. And the phone might not recognize that properly. Now I don't know what Apple has done to counteract that, because I mean if they hadn't done anything to account for that, it'd be much farther off. So clearly they've done something to help that. But I want to try one more time seeing what happens if I move my whole body along with the phone so that we're maintaining a constant perpendicular angle to the wall while we measure. And my hunch was correct, as from doing that we got a measurement of 6 foot 11, which is only 1 inch off, so that's much more accurate. So you definitely want to remain perpendicular to the wall, or I guess it's parallel if you can think about it with your body, but make the camera point perpendicular to the wall or whatever object you're measuring along both points. But that's gonna be it. Um, really, for the first beta, pretty good, but they still have some improving to do. Thanks for watching.